Here's a little pen holder which I had great fun making up from last night, actually, but I've uh, never made it before. It's one of those things which sits in my case for, what, 25 years and never gets made. So it's a pen holder, but you can put other things in there, coin box and things, and I'll have a go at dismantling it rather than putting it together, because it's sure how it is. There's the, there's the, the, the instructions and things you can make with it. Oh, look, put you can put paint brushes in it as well. There's, there's lots of things. So, and it's just got two hoops, one on the top. There's a ring of plastic there with a, with a little groove in it. The one on the bottom, oops, Jay, is it? Is it going to pull off? Yes, that's a quite a firm one, there we are. And the pieces themselves are just two halves. They're literally on top, fold like that, and on like that. That's all it is. Just look at that. Extraordinary. And the pieces slip in there and then create the, um, Pieces. The, tr the tricky bit is getting it into a very, very small groove in here to make sure it sits nice and tidy. It makes a reasonably compact and, and reasonably sturdy little pot to put things in, which is very nice. So please, very pleased to have had a go with that. Oh yes, there's a, there's a base version with, with, with a bag and, and the top version, of course, to get a hole in the top. So I've at last made it up after 25 years. Oh well. Here's something I have taken out occasionally. It's a very nice example of some of the work you can get from typically the toy museum or especially the shops in Nuremberg when you're there. This is an old um, type of, of art form they did. I'll show it on the thing. This is really beautiful. It's some of the nicest artwork I've come across in Germany. It's got superb little pictures here, a dress around it. And they're all, all made of very, very, very thin lead, I think it is. I'll just take up, let me just take out one piece and try and get it right up the camera. It's there. And then you can turn it around and it's the same thing on the other side like that. So you lay them out in a little marketplace. I'll have a go at just put, uh, well, I'll put them on where I'll have to do it on the surface. No, I'll put it on the surface here, I think. So we've got a scene there and we've got a little lampstand in the back and we've got people in the front greeting each other like that. And we've got um, a, ma a market or something at the back here, and then something else back here. Oh yes, ladies selling things there, and so on. Makes a light, very nice little scenorama piece, but put it onto a little context, like a, a little tray like that would be nice. It's, it's, it's a very sweet little idea, but each of the pieces, as you can see, are very, very thin. Very, very thin indeed. And yet the quality of the, of the, of the artwork is just superb. Very, very nicely made. And the back and front, there's you know, the back of the same team of people and so on. So I'm very pleased to have had a, bought a set of those. They're quite expensive, but well worth the price for something that's exquisite form of art from, from Germany from 100 years ago. But they're a modern made. Now here's another little cat toy, which I do enjoy the cat toys. And this one, I think, is an American one. You take it out of its packet, pull it out. And here we've got, well, one of those things. I've got to undo it first. I'll put elastication on it, but you're supposed to put it on there. And you whirl it around in there like that. And hopefully the cat, because it's feathers, uh, will chase after it. It's got a little universal joint, so it'll swivel like that. And then you must remember to put it away carefully. Otherwise, the cat will find it and, and love it to bits. So just a bunch of feathers, basically, attached to a piece like this. And you provide your little stick and elastic band. And it, then it's meant for um, cats to chase after and have a bit of fun with Sit in the chair while you're doing it, and you're not being too active yourself. But the cat is tearing all over the place. <laughs> the last item is something which came out from 30 years earlier. No, 40 years earlier, from 19, 1953, probably. This old toy here called Weavergram. Look at this. My goodness. This is Chad Valley. I've been past their um, original factory, quite near my a cousin of mine who lives in, in Edgebaston in, in Birmingham. And they made some marvellous toys way back in the 50s and 60s. And this wonderful piece, Weaver Graham, came out about um, for just, just about the time of the coronation, I think, 1953. There's a whole series of pictures, which you'll see here. And the actual piece you've got makes all those pictures. Let's see if I can get it into focus. The one I've got is of the beef. This is the one I'm going to show on the beef eater, on the, on the, on the, on the front, this one here. But there's other scenes there uh, from... Coronation Day, it's 1953. And the idea is, when you've got it, you've got to turn these pieces here like that, and then turn the piece like that, and turn the piece like that, 
and then you bottle the whole thing up, the kids can do this in the car, and then have a go at making the next picture. Very simple idea, and quite an antique toy, really, but I got it in 1995. Wow, 40, 40 years afterwards. 